Welcome to Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. This town's got everything. Cool old homes, great restaurants, vibrant nightlife, and entrenched golf cart culture. I call it my happy place. There's just one small issue. It's got a very moody neighbor, one that's usually nice, but occasionally gets very nasty. I'm talking about the Gulf of Mexico. And around here, survival depends on how high above it you are. Mr. and Mrs. Jordan know all too well. As teenage sweethearts in 1969, they rode out Category 5 Hurricane Camille clinging to a rooftop to escape the deadly storm surge. 36 years later in Hurricane Katrina, they incredibly found themselves in the same situation here at their home in Waveland next to Bay St. Louis. I'm looking on that. I said, look like there's water coming to the door. I said, that is water. So I jump up and I call him, I say, there's water coming in the house. And as soon as I said that, it's like it just came from nowhere. I mean, it bust the door open, was coming through my fireplace. I told Trav, my grandbaby, I said, baby, run. And we went down the hallway and we pulled the attic down and got in the attic. And all of a sudden, the water just, I could see it coming up higher and higher. And I started backing up, I started backing up. And I said, then I started praying. And I grabbed Trey and I had him in my arms and that door just slammed to I felt like it was my tomb. God, that's what I felt. I said, we're going to die in here. He says, you think I should start cutting? I said, yes, I'm cutting now. Stop cutting now. <laughs> so he started cutting a hole in because we got to go somewhere now because now the water's up in our house. We got to get out of here. We can't stay in here. He hit it and it opened up where he had cut. And he said, that's our way out. <sighs> it was... Hmm. Um, I know, but it's, I just knew that was it. And I, I started praying, because I didn't worry about me as much as I worried about my grandbaby, because I even said, Lord, if you got to take somebody, please don't take my grandchild, take me. It's hard to find words to capture Hurricane Katrina's impact in Bay St. Louis and Waveland. It was apocalyptic. While most of the nation focused on Metro New Orleans in the wake of the tragedy, Mississippians quietly dug out and rebuilt, and over the years clawed their way back to normalcy, and then something better. There are still empty slabs where homes once stood, as well as monuments to Katrina's wrath. But today, Bay St. Louis is back and better than before, with charming beachside neighborhoods and a festive downtown that some liken to a mini New Orleans. I asked Mayor Mike Favre, What's the secret to the city's big comeback? One of the things, you know, is our people, our citizens and everything, their resilience and all. You know, from day one, everybody started rebuilding, you know, pushing this and pushing, the, you know, to get rebuilt. Um, we lost some citizens and all, but a lot of them have come back throughout the years. As far as our downtown, you know, we have the fortunate to have the high bluff here that we're sitting on for our downtown and it enabled you know, our businesses to come back. Now let's be clear, nowhere in coastal Mississippi is high above sea level, but some places are less low than others. And a lot of downtown Bay St. Louis is 20 feet or more above sea level, and that protects it from all but the most massive storm surges. Even so, the city's doing stuff to mitigate the impacts of incoming hurricanes. As FEMA has put new regulations in, we've adopted those regulations. The codes and all are stricter now to, to help homeowners. For me, this topic has gotten personal. I now have skin in the game. Yep, I live here. I fell in love with Bay St. Louis a few years ago. And now, I'm building a house in Old Town. Now I know what I'm getting into, I know what the risks are, so I'm determined to make this house hurricane tough. It starts with the property. Now this land here is 19 feet above sea level, which for coastal Mississippi is pretty high. And then as you can see, I've actually added several feet on top of that. This is where the floor is. So what that means is that I'm gonna be good except for the most massive and unusual storm surges. And I'm taking all kinds of measures to resist extreme winds. Two by six wall studs, special sheathing, fiber cement siding, a sturdy tie down system, heavy composite shutters, and a standing seam roof. The result will be just the right coastal Mississippi home. Traditional on the outside, hurricane tough on the inside. Builder Bo Ladner of Paramount Contracting specializes in building on the coast. He says it's all about staying up on the latest and greatest technologies to make homes strong. Uh, we are very 
cutting edge, trying to keep up with everything for the next storm that's coming. Much of neighboring Waveland does this as well, but Waveland faces a special challenge. Unlike Bay St. Louis, its downtown has very little elevation. There used to be shops and restaurants here on Coleman Avenue. Hurricane Katrina wiped them out, and the very low elevation here makes it tricky to rebuild. I talked about this puzzle with Mayor Trapani. I live right here on the beach in Waveland, Mississippi. We came back to absolutely nothing. We had three steps to our house, um, but to put it in perspective, my next door neighbors actually perished. They died in the hurricane. They did not leave. People stayed away for a long period of time because of elevation. Elevation is the killer in this area. Um, we're actually ground zero. After surviving two of the greatest hurricanes in American history by the skin of their teeth, the Jordans have one piece of advice for anyone thinking to stick around for the next hurricane. Get out. Do not wait. Leave. Because just because it didn't happen to you one time does not mean it won't happen. Get out. Lesson learned, with hurricane risk, the biggest factor is elevation. It's why one city bounces back and another faces challenges. So know your elevation, be realistic about it, and get out of the way when you're told to. This is Josh Wargerman with Weather Nation TV in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi.